Hey everybody, good morning. Thank you so much for joining me on this edition of Down to Earth. Today is Friday, December 11th, and it's my birthday. So happy birthday to me. A lady never tells how many years have passed since she was born, but trust me, it is good. It certainly is good. I'm so grateful and so thrilled to be here. And first, I just give thanks to the Almighty God, the creator of the universe who has allowed me the pleasure and the privilege of serving his people by coming to you today to tell you just a little bit about the issues that matter. And I am so grateful that I'm still here in spite of COVID-19, in spite of all kinds of threats, in spite of everything else, we made it. So this morning, we want to do a follow-up story on what we've been talking about all week, and that is Pornhub, the porn website based out of Montreal, Canada, that seeks to distort the images of young women that performs and and, uh, places an emphasis on rape and traffics in sexualization of young girls and adult women. It's very exploitative. And it's something that the wider community as a whole has not responded to. Partly because, number one, most people like to dismiss that this kind of sexualization occurs in our society. And most people like to uh, believe, if you will, that their boyfriends, husbands, ex-husbands, brothers, fathers are not the ones who are the consumers of deviant sexual behavior, and neither are they the consumers of girls who are trafficking. It looks terrible when you see it on TV, these girls talk about how they were misused and abused. Nobody wants to think that their uh, significant others or family members are participants in it. But can I just help you out a little bit? So is slavery. Nobody wants to admit. Part of our problem in our American society is that nobody, no white person wants to admit and accept that my ancestors were horrible people who trafficked in human beings, used them for over 250 years for free labor, and now wants me to act like nothing happened. That's a big part of our problem. Well, it's the same thing with human trafficking. It's the same thing with sex trafficking of minors. Nobody wants to admit and accept that my family members, whom I love dearly and whom I place a premium on, do not value other women, do not value other women's children, and are trafficking, actively engaged in the trafficking of sex on the internet. Nobody wants to admit that. So just yesterday, the New York Times did their follow-up story, Visa and MasterCard, says that they have stopped allowing their cards to be used on Pornhub. And the rest of us are like, so you made enough money already. How much are you going to make further? How much were you really going to make further? You've made enough already. And it's almost as if, okay, so a little tardy to the party, but I guess you're still at the party. Good luck to you, Ms. Visa and MasterCard. What are you up to rates on the other services that we use? Come on now, right? But we do need the Canadian government now to step in. The Canadian government now needs to step in and discontinue Pornhub. The company that owns Pornhub, MindGeek, is who is the bad guy here. They're the bad actors. They're the ones who are allowing people to upload videos of rape and videos of girls being molested, girls being uh, being used in violent sex acts, not just here in America, but all over the world. And as I said yesterday, I still don't understand why the FBI has not shut down Pornhub from operating in the United States. Why is the FBI silent in the face of massive, massive human sex trafficking? Why is the FBI silent in allowing this organization to continue and to proliferate as it continues to distribute distorted images of young girls being raped? And I understand that we can't stop people from being deviant, but we can prosecute them. It's happening right there. Find out who the users are. You have enough uh, resources, more than enough. You can stop Russia from intervening in the 2020 elections, you can find the IP addresses of those people who are uploading the videos. Don't tell me they're hiding behind a smoke screen because you find everybody else hiding behind smoke screen. You find people hiding behind tax smoke screens. Surely you can find the people hiding behind IP addresses on the internet. 
and lock them up. Lock them up. Lock them up. Let them stop and stop them in their tracks because sometimes that's the only thing that's effective. That's the only thing that's going to work. We can't continue to have girls and young women being trafficked for the pleasure of everyone else. It's mind-blowing to me how this is allowed to proliferate. Listen to this. MasterCard and Visa have stopped allowing usage of their financial services at Hub. MasterCard said in a statement Thursday that the investigation confirmed violations of their standards prohibiting unlawful content on their site, which prompted the company to terminate the acceptance of its cards on the site. In a separate statement, Visa said, we are instructing the financial institutions who serve MindGeek to suspend processing of payments through the Visa network, pending the completion of its statement. Now, imagine that. Nearly 7 million videos are posted on Pornhub each year, and a vast majority of them contain non-consensual violent sex acts. That means people did not contribute and did not give their permission to be sexually violated. That's the truth. Some of these videos have sexual violence, and most of them, some of them have young people in them who are under the age of consent. And in these videos, people share these videos and profit from them. And the FBI, in the meantime, is standing by like, I eat dog face, like, oh, well, it is what it is. No, it's not. As long as we stand back and continue to allow the violation and the proliferation of sex acts against minors, we are complicit in it. And if I stay silent, then I am complicit in it. You are staying silent, so you are complicit. I posted the images to to Twitter yesterday. I didn't get any feedback. You're all worried about uh, Trump conceding. What, What conceding has to do with him leaving the White House? He already knows it's a done issue. But you're worried about that, seemingly choosing your arguments and choosing your fight that you would rather confine yourself to intellectual fights rather than the suffering of people. As usual, blind white hate. Same thing. Happens all the time. It was the same thing that condoned slavery. You may not personally like it, but by not saying anything about it, you are complicit in the proliferation of it. Because I guarantee you, Pornhub does not exist because Joe Blue pays a dollar to watch something. Pornhub exists because people pay hundreds of dollars to watch what they want to watch. And the people who can afford to do that are people who are affluent. There are people who have enough money and they can afford to do that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, let's be clear here. Let's be clear who the real evil is. The evil is not just the person who uploaded the video or the person who took the video. The evil is also the person who watches the video, who pays for it. Because by paying for it, you are saying it's okay. By paying for it, you are saying this is okay for this to happen. I kid you not. It's a startling rebuke on people on our society that we continue to allow these kinds of sex acts to proliferate. We need to really, really step up our game and really, really need to stop letting things like this happen all the time. Okay? We need to stop it. We need to seriously stop it. And I, for one, I am just as blown away as you are by the fact that these things happened. Something has got to be done. And I really think it's time that we, we, we start paying some attention to this. It's amazing to me how we have allowed this to happen over time. It's just simply amazing to me. Because we sit back and you and I go to bed and we live in this, we choose to live in this oblivious free world. As if, if I don't pay attention to it, then I won't see it, then maybe I won't have to do something about it. The facts are, these things happen. And right now, there is a girl who is being proliferated, who is being violated right now. Somebody's daughter has an image on the internet, on Pornhub, that they did not contribute to, that they did not consent to. And that is the key for us to, to, where is this going to stop? The fact is that consent. Look. We persecuted and prosecuted Harvey Weinstein, Bill Cosby, and what's that other guy who was about to get prosecuted? Jeffrey Epstein. Why? Because they did not get consent. 
they took sex, they had sex with people whom they wanted to have sex with, but they did not get consent. Well, Pornhub does not have consent. What's the difference? Get Joe Blow. Yeah, maybe you need to lock him up or whoever Joe is who is fooling around with this kind of stuff. I have daughters. You should be just as outraged as I am if you have any young people around you. And if you are a teacher or you're a person in the community, you should be similarly outraged that these kinds of attacks continue to happen. And I, I, I hear by state right now that a big part of the problem is that the people who are being trafficked are invariably non-white. And because they're non-white, their lives don't matter. So sexual violence can be perpetrated on them because their lives don't matter. That's the whole thing. It comes right back down to this black and white racism. That if your skin is not white, it's okay for you to be violated against. If your skin is not white, it's okay to turn off your lights, turn off your water. If your skin is, hello, at Detroit, yes. If your skin is not white, it's okay to turn off social services that you need. If your skin is not white, it's okay for me to watch videos of them raping, of men raping you, who are invariably white men, raping other women of color. That's what this comes down to. It comes back to this systemic racism that exists in our society that we allow people of color, women of color, the vast majority of women who are sexually trafficked and girls who are trafficked are non-white. The outrage is real. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that, my friends, is the problem. The problem is that because they're non-white, nobody wants to face up to the fact that this continues to happen in our society. It's a crying, crying shame. And it's something that we as a community and we as a society, we need to address. And I expect the incoming administration to do something about it, except using it as a folder op because your father is, 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 is questionably involved in sex trafficking of minors. So now you're going to put a good face on it by saying, oh, look what his administration is doing about it. Time out for that. Jeffrey Epstein's files are real and they exist on a flash drive. And the New York Attorney General has them. They're just biding their time to get at people whom they know have participated in this. Because it seems to me that the more powerful they are is the more they need a thrill. It's like people doing this because they need a thrill. So they need a thrill and they want to go and have a thrill. So let me go to, to Ming Ming over here or Zing Zang over here or, or, or Felicia. She doesn't matter. She doesn't count. Nobody cares about her. Nobody's going to miss her. So let me force my 54 year old penis on a 13 year old girl. And let me have what I, my fantasy of seriously bashing her face in. I kid you not. And women know this. You all know this. Your husband is supposed to be in bed with you at night. He doesn't come to bed until 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Because he's somewhere in the house on, on, on the internet. You all know what's going on. Don't tell me you don't hear the floorboards creak at night when he walks down the halls to your daughter's room. Come on. You know what's going on. Don't tell me you don't know that he's fooling around with the nanny. That the nanny cam has a way of just going missing at certain times of the day. And he mysteriously at that time of the day is in a meeting. Yeah, he's in a meeting with your nanny. All right, come on, ladies. You know what's going on. But you are so afraid to lose your positions that you won't do anything about it. You think that, okay, I, I just love being Mrs. Tom Brown because I have this social status and I get all my bills paid and I can't get to ride around in the car of my choice. You sell your, you're no different from, from, from the, the sex worker on the street. You sell your soul out for a position in society and the price you pay is to keep your mouth shut. This is why human trafficking and sex trafficking does not stop because we are all complicit by our silence. You see the charges on your credit card. You Google the companies and you know that they sell sex. So you know your husband is participating in it, but you're not going to question him because he's the provider. So he gets to get away with what he does while inflicting the damage on others, on other women whom you don't value. We're going to have to set the tone and change the face of this. We're going to have to say all human lives matter. 
we're going to have to say that black lives matter, brown lives matter, red lives matter, yellow lives matter. All lives matter. Except, well, I don't know about white people. They already say their lives matter. So the rest of us need to step up. Lives matter. Human beings matter. In this regard, it's okay to say all lives matter. Because the vast majority of, 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 of victims of trafficking are non-white. And it occurred to me that this must have been the issue that I particularly saw that impacted me more than anything else. Because people are like, well, they don't matter anyway. <laughs> and because they don't matter, I can get away with anything and I can do anything. Isn't that crazy? I don't know about you, but the, the fact that some other human being gets to determine my self-value is troubling to me. I don't like that at all. I am not here for that. That some other human being somehow gets to determine the full value of my humanity. It is, I don't know about you, but that should be as disturbing as you know what. That should really be significantly disturbing. I cannot imagine for the life of me who gave you the authority over me in the first place. The last time I checked, I was born to people who loved me, not to people who bought me or to people who paid a price. You see what I'm saying? I was born to people who did not have to go submit to a person, whether they could have access to me or not. So I don't know where you get the idea from that it's okay. This is why this whole agenda around the enslavement of people, we need to talk about it. Because until we talk about it, a lot of people don't realize the ways in which they are complicit and they give their understanding to it. A lot of folks don't realize that. And I dare say to you that it is. A lot of us and a lot of people who sometimes are well-meaning people don't realize how much they give up their consent to these acts of enslavement. Let's be clear, sex trafficking and human trafficking is enslavement. There are no two ways about it. There is no other way around it. It is what it is. It is enslavement. And people need to understand that and get behind it to get this movement of releasing the enslavement out of sex trafficking, releasing people so that people understand it's not okay. You have to talk about this in your homes and in your community groups so that the men around you who go to Pornhub and think it's a joke. Your brothers, your cousins, and they think it's fun. Hey, did you see what I saw on Pornhub? That's all they joke amongst one another. And you have to ask them, what if that happened to me? Would you think it's funny? What if that happened to my daughter, who is your niece? Or what if that happened to your daughter? Do you think it's funny? Do you think some man somewhere is having fun knowing that this is happening to his daughter? These are the questions that we need to ask. And I know most of us, yeah, I don't want to ask my brother that. I don't want to. There are ways to ask them. You know them best. You don't have to say, hey, are you on Pornhub? You can just say, what kind of videos do you watch? You'd be surprised what they will tell you. And a lot of this happens because we are so, like most of us, I guess, we don't want to think about it, you know. In a lot of ways, slavery has not ended. In a lot of ways. What we're seeing is the direct enslavement of people. In a lot of ways, slavery has not ended. And it's because of public policy that continues to promote poverty on communities of color. That poverty continues to make people have less and less access to education that is empowering less and less access to social services that can help get them out of poverty. It's not just here in America. It's not just education that can help you get out of poverty. It's social services, providing a platform and a base for which people can operate, making sure that they have access to clean water, making sure they have access to clean air to breathe, making sure that their societies, their communities and their cities are not food deserts. There are different ways of empowerment, and that is the responsibility of the government because when people work, we pay taxes. When people talk about a welfare state, 
I often wonder what the hell are they talking about? That's why you don't hear me participate in that discussion. Because for the longest time, I couldn't understand what it is. Because I'm like, what do you mean it's a welfare state? What is wrong with providing for the well-being of the citizens who live within your jurisdiction? That is what you are supposed to do. Do people pay taxes? Then if I pay taxes, I am contributing to the well-being of others. Is that what you refer to as a welfare state? Then I guess so, because it's the well-being. And people are, you know, people were marching that I want work, not welfare. And I'm like, you paid for this already, Blow. You paid for this already by your taxes. Because the government brought a pandemic as part of genocide. It was population control. If they, they probably thought, knowing old white men, old white men did this. They probably thought that if they sat, when they sat down in the Senate, and the group of old white men who control the Senate, and who look like they want to control every factor of American life, or business, or banks, or the way we talk to one another, it looks like that's what they want to do, right? When those old white men got together and saw the pandemic coming, they said, well, if, it, if it's let loose in minority communities, we'll get rid of them. And then we'll be the majority again. That's probably what they thought. Now you understand why we need to have senators who look and sound like us. Joe Biden said something that I think resonates with most of us. He says, his cabinet is going to look like America and how diverse the country is. White people are like shaking in their boots because for so long all they wanted the representation to be was white. And that is what caused the social problems. So when people look at who is valuable to the society, immediately the most invalued person is the person of color. Immediately that person gets dismissed Immediately, that person is treated as if they're a non-person. There is no value attached to them. Oh my God. So this is how slavery has not end ended. Because the, 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 the motto of slavery, the ideology of slavery, the idea of slavery is to enslave people because they don't matter. Take advantage of them. They are non-issues. They're irrelevant. That's the idea of slavery. That if, if their skin is non-white, they don't matter. That ideology, we refer to it as white supremacy, that has not stopped. Well, we see it played out in sex trafficking. Ask the FBI, how many of these girls you capture that you manage to, to, to retrieve? Very few. The, the, the statistics are very low. It usually takes the person some time to get out of it and they choose to after a while, right? But ask them, how many of these girls, when you go on raids, how many of them are white? You'd be surprised. The white ones are treated better. They have a better chance of surviving and exiting. They have access to more resources. They're given more than blacks, than, uh, than Asians and other minorities. I kid you not. Very, very disturbing. When you look at these factors, these social factors, you, you have to ask yourself, what, what are the economics behind it? Because it becomes glaringly obvious after a while that there is an economic uh, factor and complement to it. And what is that economic factor? And when it's broken down, you realize it is in favor of the person who, who buys sex. Their money and their affluence acts like a corporate veil around them. So they are not persecuted. They're not prosecuted. They're not penalized. They're not criminalized. They're not subject to institutionalized behavior. But the victim continues to be penalized, criminalized, and subject to punitive behavior. Whereas the trafficker, he gets to walk free. The trafficker is not just the person who put the videos up. The trafficker is the person who pays for it. By using your Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover on any sex site, you've become a trafficker. You have just now paid for the trafficking of that person, even in adult women. What makes you think that they're also there because of consent? Because they're saying so? 
they're there because they have no choice. Sometimes their children are held hostage. Sometimes other family members are threatened that if you don't do what I want, you have to do it. It's seen as a game to people. They think it's a game of, of, of fake. It's, uh, Pornhub actually said they couldn't distinguish between what is fake and what is real. And I'm like, you shouldn't have to. You should say, I don't like the image that this is sending and forget about it. It's like Lifetime Movie Channel. What if they only, the, the kind, everybody knows what kind of movies Lifetime puts up, right? Well, the day they start putting out movies with Kung Fu fighting, with, with uh, you know, with people fighting and so on, it's over for them. Because they can say that they consent, they don't consent to that. They issued a statement during Black Lives Matter that says, you know, uh, we support all people of color, but for a long time, most of the Lifetime movies were Lily White and Vanilla White. They're all vanilla. They've now put Vivica Fox in them. I guess one person is going to change it. One Vivica Fox of all the thousands of actors in Hollywood. There's only one, one, one act, one black actor. It's like saying this is the one we like and approve of. It's crazy. I'm showing you that this is the other side of the coin. This is part of the reason why this has got to change because as long as we continue as long as we continue to let this happen we are complicit we've got to shut down Pornhub we've got to shut down all websites that promote the trafficking of sex against women and girls we've got to shut down every one of them Pornhub, Cornhub, every kind of website. If it is not a consenting website where people have like only fans of and they're like, well, you join my site because you consent to blah, blah, blah. Shut down every site that promotes violence and sexual violence against women and girls. Shut them down. Shut down every site. Shut them all down. Pornhub is owned by MindGeek. They must make a lot of money in Canada because the Canadian government has done nothing about them. The Canadian government is radio silent about this whole thing. Radio freaking silent about the trafficking of sex against girls of color. I'm telling you, this is an outrage. This is so outrageous if you're listening to me right now. Because nobody cares. It's like nobody cares about what happens to Chinese girls. And nobody cares what happens to, to girls from other countries. And nobody cares what happens to brown skinned girls and black girls. And, and all you care about is to make sure your little Ashley doesn't get involved in this. Do you know what they do with children who run away? And the FBI is radio freaking silent on Pornhub. Why is the FBI so silent? You see these people, you know who these people are who are uplifting and promoting these videos and the FBI is radio silent in the field of sex trafficking right now. I am so disappointed. You are showing your true colors. This was all about whiteness. This was all about if you're white, it's all right. You are good. And if you're not white, then all seasons and everything is open. The racism in this country is unbelievable and it is factored into every facet of our society and our life and it continues to promote and continues to promote violence against people of color and whether it's sexual violence or economic violence or political violence it continues to promote it and nothing is being done about it I don't want to hear any more panacea we elected a black president they gave him the hardest time about being black in America, about being a black man who chose to sit in the highest office. The same group of old white men obstructed him every step of the way and created a climate for Donald Trump to appear and promoted Donald Trump racism because it suited them, because they're essentially racist. That's what it comes down to. Donald Trump is not the problem. He's a symptom of the problem. The Republican Party that's who created the problem. They're the same people who have the affluence. They're the same people who own all the MasterCards and the Visa. They're the same people who continues to traffic in sex trafficking against people. Yes, I'm outraged that you dare to come before us and say, oh, I'm Christian. And oh, I'm a good person. But at the same time, you sit silently by while this continues to happen. You are racist indeed. Just accept it. Say, yeah, I'm racist. I'm a descendant of slave owners. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry. I'm a sorry-assed individual. That's who I really am. That's what you should all say. 
because you are sorry and the loser of 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 human of humanity don't let me get started on this whole foolishness as i look across the the spectrum i realize that most people who are trafficked are people of color i was shocked heartbroken literally like seriously even in this there is racism Look look, look 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 at Jeffrey Epstein. He was racist. He had the nerve to say that no blacks or Asians are exotic. He doesn't want any of that. Are you hearing that? Even while you were having sex with 16-year-old white girls, you were and 13-year-old white girls, you had the nerve to say you didn't want black girls or Asians or exotic others. Imagine that. No wonder he's dead. You had the nerve to say that. It's unbelievable. And you dare to deny that slavery existed. This is a continuation of slavery. Hello somebody. Slavery is alive and well. As long as women and girls continue to be trafficked and are victimized because of without their own agency they have no agency or autonomy over the course of their lives or over their bodies and how their bodies are seen depicted and videographed they are they are enslaved so the the the, the element of slavery now the focus of slavery is regular joe blow out here is like well i can't really go enslave them but I can't get a black girl to to can watch what happens to her. I can't get a a a, a, a you know a, a a a person of a different race. I don't want to offend anybody because I don't want to say you know because there is enough negativity already in our society. But think about that. It's it's the craziest thing I have ever heard. And we 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 have to our come up ends has got to be at what point do we continue to allow this to happen it's just like there's human trafficking in labor a lot of people have nannies in their homes and they take their passports so they can't do anything right they don't have agency and autonomy over how they move they confiscate their travel documents their IDs so they have to do what they have to do they get people to participate in videos because they don't have any agency how wicked can you be in in one of the stories a 9 year old girl she was 9 at the time she's now 23 says that she was adopted by an adoptive family and they forced her to make videos that are on Pornhub and she's now 23 she said for this reason she's scared to have children because what if her children come across those videos are you hearing me the damage that is done to people is real and the residual damage affects them for a lifetime people have to work through accepting that this happened to me and i did not consent to it that's slavery i'm telling you right now if somebody has videos of me or photos of me and do something with them i don't know how long they're going to live on the earth. I I tell you the honest truth. Because when people start looking at you like that, you it affects you, especially when you're young, you know, maybe as an adult you're like, "Well, look at how I used to look." But when you are young, all you can see is a lifetime of this. And all you can see is you having to explain to everyone you meet how this happened. That bothers people. Why should anybody else continue? to 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 proliferate. My god, porn hub. Shut it down. FBI, where are you? I know you listen to me. Shut down porn hub. Prosecute the people who are uploading the videos. And you can find the people who made the videos. You know how to get the metadata out of it. Go get it and get them. Thanks so much everybody for listening. It's Friday. Join me again on the next edition of 
down to earth because here at down to earth this is as down to earth as i can get thanks so much go to my website harrykamek.com as well as visit my pages on spotify and google podcast thanks so much everybody be blessed